Oh, what's that? Hi. Monster, is that you? No, it's just a glitchy. It's number five. Huh. Lou Bega, what are you up to? <laughs> Let's play Backrooms! Hello and welcome to a new place, short indie horror games. And today I'm going to play a game that looks very, or sounds very interesting. It looks like horrible wallpaper, but it sounds really cool. It was developed by Reflective Surfaces, um, and it's basically, I think, a more existential surreal game about back rooms. The text on the itch.io page. If you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum bus, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has hurt you. Ah! Okay, I can't wait. This uh, game was created in seven days, so if I see any bugs, I will just ignore them. Like, don't be too harsh on bugs, unless they're really game breaking. Okay, but now, come on, let's let's go. Don't, don't yabber on, hula. Did I read something about photosensitivity? It was like five seconds. So, in any case, if you are. You know, I better err on the right side. Is that the right phrase? I don't know. Um, so if you're sensitive, maybe skip this one. There's plenty games on my channel or elsewhere, you know, that don't make you feel horrible. All right. Options. What do we have? Wow. <gasps> Language Deutsch. But I want it in English. Do we have English? Yes. We want the subtitles on and the difficulty. It's Let's be brave. <laughs> Let's be brave. Let's try this on. And now, oh sorry, that voice uh, <clears throat> Don't know what that was. Good. I was supposed to go to the archives to sort out some documents. No wait, I have to I have to start this again. I'm sorry. Although no, I will I will continue this. So I did the full screen and as soon as I started the game, it went back to small screen, which ended the recording of the uh, game recording, so that's why I was panicking a little bit. What is this? Liminal spaces. Oh that's a funny thing. Put this docs in cabinet cabinets well i guess the funny thing is liminal spaces are actually not like super empty isolated spaces i learned that on the internet that's what most people think that liminal spaces are those weird scary places that are very oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hey jesus That's not what a liminal space is. Actual, from the original definition, um, it's spaces where people are to go some other place. For example, the airport would be a liminal space because you're not at the airport to live there, except in that one movie with Tom Hanks that's apparently based on a real story. I don't know about that. Oh, I can pick those up? Oh, let's do that. Um... You know, most people aren't on airports to go somewhere else. And that's uh, a liminal space. Be also like um, administrative offices or whatever. Well, you know, the entrance of a festival. You don't stay there. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I did that. I can run. Honestly, I mean, disregarding that there's possibly a monster out here. To get me help I'm lost I would love a place like this maybe some skates you know have some fun with it just to be completely on your own follow voices I actually do hear something but why would I want to follow them exit
Oh, I'm leaning when I do this. I don't know. Oh, what's that? Hi. Monster, is that you? No, it's just a glitch. It's number five. Huh. Lou Bega, what are you up to? <laughs> I hope he's not problematic. If, if, if he is, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, I am officially lost again. Uh, loyal hula noob viewers probably always cackle whenever something whenever I play something where direction is important because I'm not good at that. Can I jump into the let's just woo Okay. Retry? I think I did amazingly. Okay. So that wasn't supposed to happen. The paper is gone. Huh. There's a, is that a door? Let's go. Let's find out. It's that. Saw the door, but a loss. Huh. Ignore the chair. Oh, that's a shadow. Oh, he's sneaky. Sneaky. Can I sit down here? No. Seven. Oh, no. I hear something. Oh, can you see that? Oh, no, don't. Shadow man. I don't know why, why I think it's a man. It's always a man. Like, come on. You can give me the not all man in the comments if you want to. Helps me with my engagement rate on YouTube. Okay. But I'm, I'm super happy that I don't have any stamina. Opposed to, you know, real life. Shit. So I'm stuck. Maybe not. Okay. But I'm lost completely. Okay, I don't hear the weirdo anymore, so that's good, I guess. Does this game have a proper ending, or is it one of those... ...where you just, you know, play for different deaths? <laughs> How do you get closer to the voices? Oh, that's another glitch, okay. Oh, there's something. Um, watch out for it. Yeah, I already saw it. I'm not happy about it. Okay. I mean, are those glitches a good thing or not? I don't know. Are they what fell with me? Like my chair, my little cabinet. But I imagine that the carpet doesn't smell good. Oh, saw the door but lost. Oh man, I saw that already. I want to see something new. Oh. No, where? You know what? Let's get. Do we want to get killed? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if there's anything more to do here. That's my question. Like, do I, can I actually get to an entrance or not? Or an exit rather. I found the entrance, you know. You know those weird carpets in administrative buildings or really, really depressing office buildings, especially those that rent office space. They always smell really weird, like a really chemical smell. That's not nice. Like, it doesn't even ta taste... Pff, not that I lick carpets. Um, it doesn't even smell like, you know, fresh 
washing powder or whatever. It's just weird, horrible, horrible smell. That's kind of just... Ugh. And I think, you know, this looks like it, it stinks of that. So... I don't get it with the voices. I really don't. Why do they sound so close? The last time I was really able to just... No. <laughs> okay, if I die again, then we'll just we'll call it quits. I quit this job. It's just, you know, it's not... I don't feel it. I don't have passion for it. No! <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. Um, this game contains elements with flickering light. Game created by Simon Malakowski. Based on a creepypasta man. Backrooms. Oh. There's still a lot of backrooms to explore. Yeah, it's... Um, I think the idea is pretty cool because just this incredible empty space is kind of scary. But I didn't know what to do. So that was my main problem, that I had no incentive. And also I didn't know what the documents were about that I could just leave around. Probably to keep like, to know where I've been, etc. But in such a vast space, it feels like... Because also the documents don't have different colors or anything. So I don't feel like that would have helped me in any way. Um, I'd also... I didn't find all the furniture with all the numbers. Excuse me? Excuse me? What is this? That was super creepy! Ex really rude. Oh, this is me running. I, I know everyone is good with directions watching this right now. I'm so sorry that you have to endure this. I know it, it, it is. It is enraging to see someone being so chaotic, you know, and being like, I'm bad with directions, but also not doing anything to be better with directions. I get it. I get it. But this is who I am. I'm too old to change my ways now. <laughs> oh man. You capture the feel of the backgrounds perfectly and I love the addition of a light puzzle. Not hard to figure out. Oh come on, just oh, how? What? That's ridiculous. Dunculus. So apparently there's something I didn't discover. Also, I need to write like oh this is oh, God. Kind of. So I looked it up um, in a video. I will post the link to the video. Um, if I figure this out as a thank you. Someone who figured it out on their own. I did not. I, I, you know, I stand by it. I'm okay with that. I can deal with that. So here's the thing. We can die. That's okay, we just have to write down the numbers on the thingy majingies. And then we have to find something that I did not find at all in all my endeavors, despite being so organized when running through this place. It's unbelievable. Also, it's always funny to watch Let's Players um, play the same game, but also watch Let's Players that I don't usually watch, just because I have a certain favorite style. Um, that I think, that sounds horrible, but it's close to mine. What can I say? <laughs> I make the Let's Plays I would like to watch, you know. It's always uh, interesting to see what other uh, styles they are. And without any judgment, you know. I know it's like styles are like 
preferences when it comes to those things are so subjective. So who gives a shit, you know, if I like something or not? And it's interesting. And it's also something, I think, even if, if that's not your style, you can learn a lot from other Let's Players. Just how they work with stuff, how they work in their humor, how they work with cuts and special effects and stuff like that. And just to know that this is something that you could do and then decide, is that something I want to do? Or is there a way I can do it but make it, you know, my own? That's a nice thing. So I kind of enjoy whenever I am completely stuck with a puzzle, which is all too often, to just see different uh, Let's Player styles, you know, of channels that I probably would not watch on my downtime. Um, because I actually, not well, I said I, I, I watch players who are like me, but I think I, am, I even like the more relaxed style. <laughs> like, I watch John Wolf and Mr. Krabbin and Gap Smolders and my favorite, Tench Froze. And they're also, you know, relaxed, not very loud, not very um, hectic in their editing work. And I say hectic, but I mean, that's, it sounds negative, but that's just a, that's just a personal, okay. And the chair is, wait, what was the chair? I think the chair was seven. Okay, now s let's see if we can find the thingy. Um... Hectic sounds so negative. I don't want that. Yeah, we can take a look. It was seven. Yeah. Also good to know that it's always the same numbers. Oh my god. <gasps> if they randomize, that would be horrible. No. Also, why is he fuming? No smoking allowed in office buildings. Don't you know? Yeah, you can shut up. Like, I had it. I worked hard today, you know, running through these corridors. My hand is starting to cramp. And you just, you know, what do you do for this company? Keeping other people from their work. That's what you do. Oh, shit. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so unprofessional, not a team player. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll have to write to HR. Although, knowing from reality, that's probably like a upper management person. Oh, this is such a mean puzzle. I don't think that's it. I don't even, that's not a puzzle. That's just mean. What? Come on. Come on. Okay, so we got the table. Which is nine. Nine. Then we got the, I guess. Um, five, seven, four. Yes. Oh my God, I did it. Your time, yeah, that it's a lot. It's a lot longer. It's a lot longer, Simon, because I quit before, and then I tried it again. So yeah, actually, well, first of all, first of all, um, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this. Um, no wait. Uh, first of all, Ikuzumundo, thank you for giving me the let's play solution um, that I was looking for. Also, thank you for f making me feel so inadequate by saying it was an easy puzzle. I think it was very, very difficult and complex and only just incredibly sophisticated people with a certain experience in life could have solved it. Because I think walking into a wall is not something that I do a lot. And it's also not something that a lot of horror games do. So, you know, I don't know whether it was really easy. I think it was very, very difficult. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yeah, I think <laughs> it was amazing. Because knowing the, the, the answer of the puzzle, it totally works. I wonder if there... I mean, uh, it's always difficult to say, I wonder if you could make it more clear. 
when you've just not got it in the first place because maybe the majority of players will totally get it and it's just a me problem you know because then why would the dev developer do anything if it's a me problem but maybe there is a way um to make it more clear maybe because here's the thing here's the one thing here's the one thing i would say that was confusing that the voices were very loud on that on that side of the wall where you could walk through the wall but they were also equally if not louder on the other side of the wall and i think that was the main issue for me that i thought i, I followed the voices and they got it it felt it sounded like they got louder on the other side and i think if they would have gotten quieter i still would not have solved this puzzle to be quite honest but at least i wouldn't have an excuse for it so yeah um thank you so much reflective surfaces <laughs> thank you ikusumundu for helping me um and thank you viewers for bearing with me i will cut this i will edit this i will hopefully make this an enjoyable fun experience for you and not the sloggy drag that it was for me trying to solve this um but yeah i think the the environments look really cool i do like the monster i'm not so sure about that you know the jump scare face close scary thing because um, it's so overdone and it's not really scary anymore i think the person following you that is scary and maybe not having this face like this, maybe the creature, you know, because they're kind of invisible-ish, you know, transparent, I think, is, is the more clear definition. Um, maybe have them transform into something more horrible um, would, would be really cool. But I think, in general, for a seven days game, this was really cool. Um, I enjoyed it very much. I will follow you, Reflect the Surfaces. Um... And you can laugh at me for probably not solving your future puzzles. <laughs> Anyways, also, if, you, if you're if new to this channel and you, you know, thought, well, oh, it was all right. You know, it, it'll do, Hula, it'll do. Then you can also subscribe. And I promise you, if you glitch through, like, if I, look, I'm, I'm the manager of a corporation, you know, and I give you this job to sort those files. And then you glitch through while sorting those files and I probably know about this but there's probably been quite a few employees who have complained about the glitch you know in the building to another dimension and all that and I was just not I was just not really putting my weight behind it you know I just thought it would go away or someone else would solve it and then you would glitch through I would help you out you know I would see it as my responsibility because I kind of slacked off on repairing that glitch so I would go after you and I would also tell off that asshole that thinks they can smoke inside the building and scare my employees. Like, what the heck? You know, throw that dude out and, you know, clear the rooms a little bit because smoke stinks a lot, especially with carpet. Anyway, so yeah, what was the point? Subscribe? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon. Bye! This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.